26 years, 25 years, I guess, but um, I think we've made some progress and seen a lot of guys grow. So, you know, we're uh, off to the, on the right foot right now and just uh, certainly got a lot, of work, a lot of work to do. And that's uh, typical of the, this time of year, but uh, no, it's been good to be, be with the guys. They've worked hard and, you know, we'll just keep pushing forward. And I'll throw it out for questions. John. Um, Kirk, how would you characterize the development of the offense under Tim Lester this spring? Yeah, you know, it's a process. It's uh, totally new. Uh, Starting with the verbiage, the, just the way we call plays, and um, so you know, basically everybody started from scratch. And um, you know, there's been incremental phases. You meet, talk about it as a staff. You know, we started uh, probably two two months ago, two plus months ago, and. You know, you can only meet for so long at some point. you got to start doing it, implementing it, and that type of thing. So it's really been valuable to, from the coaching standpoint for us to be involved and be coaching the offense and learning it that way. That most importantly is what the players absorb and, uh, you know, what they take from it. But, um, you know, so every day has really been, been valuable. It's kind of a real contrast to the defense where the system has been pretty consistent for 20-plus years. Teaching has been pretty similar for 20-plus years. You have tweaks to make, but... And you got a lot of veterans, and so we're kind of the contrast to that offensively. But it's been good. I think the players have enjoyed it, and uh, we certainly have you know ways to go yet. But it's all been good. David, Eric, appreciate the time. Uh, how do you how do you kind of balance holding you know the offensive players accountable, but also being patient, and understanding that they are learning a new system? I mean, how do you kind of toe that line of you know not getting too frustrated, but keeping perspective on everything? Yeah, it, I'm not sure there's a perfect balance there, but uh, you just have to keep it in in mind and um, there are certain things that you expect to happen maybe uh, some more fall starts things like that with motions tend to bring that but you know some of the things are still the basics the uh, quarterback center exchanges and things like that you know it's just after a while you know we got to get those cleaned up and uh, today's another phase not that it was you know the, the stadium was packed but you got music playing you got people there and so it's a different set of distractions potentially for the players uh, but you know, yeah, there is a process to it. And uh, I think we have seen, the biggest thing is that, you know, week to week practice to practice, we've seen improvement and that's what you're hoping for. And uh, certainly, you know, by the time we get close to play next uh, August, we're gonna have to be, you know, a lot sharper than we were today. Adam. Uh, Dunker and Jones both out today. So you had some guys move up in the depth chart. How do you think the line did today? And is it consistent with how they've improved this spring? Yeah, I'd, I'd say it's hard to, you know, judge today until we see the tape, but, um, I just, you know, I look at spring practice, it's more about the whole 15 days. And I think the guys have really done a good job. Uh, I think they're, they've picked up the system, but more importantly, they're more mature uh, and more physical than we've been the last couple of years. And that, that's a good thing. A lot of a lot of familiar faces there. So <clears throat> got two guys out, but yet I think, uh, you know, we're going to be a more veteran group than we've been the last several years. And with offensive line play, it's really important either, either side of the ball, there's some maturity can really help. and. Um, you know, I think we're on the right track. We're not there yet, but we're on the right track. And to get uh, Logan and, and Jennings back, that will help us as well. So, but this has been good for the other guys to get that work. It's important work. And, you know, if we can uh, end up having eight or nine guys we can put in the game, that'd be a real, real plus for us. John? From an injury standpoint, out of the people who are out today, any yep. one that would be kind of a long-term concern, or are these all people you expect back in June or July? Yeah, the good news, uh, I guess is, yeah, we had certain guys that never were out there this spring, and those guys will be fine by June. And then um, the guys that were injured this spring, it's been mostly soft tissue. You know, we had one little repair, like a ligament and a thumb, uh, but he'll be he'll be going in June too. So, yeah, as we stand here right now, we're in pretty good shape outside of, uh, you know, the knee, knee injuries that are they're going to take a little longer. Yep. Tyler. Kirk, uh, what strides have you seen Marco make this spring? And um, you know, it's a different story with all three quarterbacks and not to mention Tommy, but, um, so Mark, you know, Mark really hasn't played a lot and, uh, now new system on top of and all those types of things. So his, you know, his, his mind's going a hundred miles an hour. Uh, not that everybody's isn't, but you know, maybe everybody else is 50. <clears throat> and I think that's, that's typical for a guy who hasn't played a lot yet. So, um, my experience is like the next, next couple months are really going to be big for him. He's had 15 days of, of being out there getting a lot of reps and plus it's a new system so you know I think what he can do to try to slow things down now you can just kind of you know throttle back a little bit and think about things and 
Uh, those guys will be throwing seven on seven in June, July. So hopefully make some steps and get more comfortable with things. And then when August comes, you know, it's going to be really interesting to see where he's at and what kind of improvement he makes and what hopefully his comfort level is a little bit better. Right now he's really he's really trying hard. Chad, um, uh, did, did Jace, Jacob, how, why did Jacob Bostic leave? And did he share that with you? And where do you feel like the receiver room is? Uh, who maybe popped um, this spring for you? Yeah, he just felt like it was in his best interest. So, you know, we wish him the best. He's a tremendous young man. And, uh, you know, he just didn't uh, didn't feel like this was the best spot for him at this point. So, um, you know, onward and upward for him. And um, the room and in, in overall, you know, we're young. Uh, we got some older guys, but we're still young in terms of, you know, production experience. But, uh, you know, you start with, the, I guess, uh, Weege and, uh, Caleb would be the two guys that have the most experience out there, and I think they both have a chance to be really good football players. And then the younger guys have done a good job too. You know, Jerry Bowie's done a nice job, and uh, he's, he's really taken some steps forward. I think Howard's done some good things. So uh, it's, it's a good mix right now, and uh, encouraged about the way the guys are working. And you know, they certainly have a lot of improvement to make too. But I think the potential's there. They're working hard. Attitude's been good, and. Uh, yeah, so yeah, I'm optimistic about those guys. Scott. Yeah, uh, the last time we talked to you, we neglected to ask you about John Budmeyer getting the, the job. Mm -hmm. um, what did what did you like about him and his couple years as an analyst and special assistant, and how how is that how has he helped? I guess the the wide receiver room this spring before this spring. Yeah, I think a um, couple thoughts here. So John's been with us for a couple of years, as you mentioned, and uh, you know it's it's. Anytime there's a leap of faith, anytime you hire anybody, uh, but it's a little bit easier when you've been around somebody for a while and watch them work and, and get to know them a little bit as uh, people and also their coaching expertise. Uh, I think John's experience lends to that. You know, he uh, was a quarterback, uh, was a quarterback's coach, coordinator, worked with the receivers some at Colorado State, uh, I think one season there, the one season. And, um, you know, I think back to, you know, Bill Snyder coached quarterbacks and receivers back here in the 80s when I was here, so that's not. It's, it's a pretty natural mesh, if you will, and he and Tim have uh, hit it off really well, too. So I think it's just worked out really well in the way we'd hoped. And John's a good teacher, a uh, good person, really cares about the players he works with. And I think so far, so good. Those guys have all you know, kind of meshed all, well together. Hell yeah. Kirk, for your presumed starter, Cade, two springs in a row hurt, and I think three offensive coordinators in three years for him now. Um, I guess, what has the spring been like for him? Is he... From what we've heard, he's kind of chomping at the bit, ready to mm -hmm. go, but won't yep. be full go till June. I guess, how is he? How's he doing? He's, I think he's doing really well. Um, he's throwing the ball well. He can't, you know, drop back, roll out, all that stuff. But he's, uh, yeah, you know, he's throwing the ball well, and uh, I think he's been in, into it 100%. Uh, maybe in some ways it's easier for him because he's not practicing, so he can just process things mentally. Don't have to worry about the physical aspect as much. But, uh, you know, he, he's an eager guy. Most quarterbacks I've been around that are good quarterbacks. Can't wait to learn something. And that certainly uh, seems to be his mode of operation. Uh, you know, so he's, he's done a good job. And it'll be really important when he does, is able to go, which should be in June. Uh, then he can start, you know, implementing some of the stuff that he's uh, been exposed to. And certainly August is going to be a really big month for him. But I, I think if there's a silver lining, uh, my experience is at least guys that have played, it's a little bit easier for them when they uh, they get started. You know, it comes back quicker than a guy who hasn't played. So those are, you know, every, every situation has its own challenges. But I think, uh, you know, we're optimistic he'll be ready to go and, you know, should be, uh, should be able to catch up pretty quickly once we get going. Corey in the back. Kirk, the spring uh, portal window being open the last week of the year of practice, how does that impact? I mean, I know you've got a, a recruiting staff, I mean, yep. you would, I would have to think you'd prefer that window be open on Monday or Tuesday. Yeah, it's, it's interesting. And um, yeah, it opened up last week. So maybe, maybe it's a reason to start spring ball earlier. Just think about the weather then. Although last Saturday was really nice. But um, yeah, and there will probably be a new round of entries, uh, more participants here this week in the portal. Because a lot of people are finishing up today. And some people even are practicing next week, as I understand it. So. There's probably no perfect time, and um, you know we have done our due diligence. One nice thing about spring practice, it's not like we have game prep, so you know there are hours outside of practice in our meetings where we can you know, we can kind of watch that stuff. And um, again, there's no portal 
ideal portal situation, I don't think. Uh, I guess maybe we're fortunate that we're not really, at least I don't anticipate us having to go out and get 10 guys or something like that. Uh, some people, that's just kind of how they operate, so it's a little bit different. Jack in the back. Kurt, it seemed like the offense, or with the offense, the running game was just a little bit ahead of the passing game, but that's just me. What was your assessment, and are you uh, happy with both where they are right now? Uh, well, yeah, first of all, it's probably a fair assessment, but, um, you know, you, I, I'm standing here just thinking about one of the plays early in practice. We were down in the red zone, and we missed a, I think it was Weech had, uh, was open out there on the right side. And, and the throw is off by about two feet, something like that. And that, that to me, was like kind of where we're at right now. Um, you know, in the fall, we got to make that play. The play is there. You got to make it. And that's that's true of any play, run or pass. If it's if it's available, if it's set up right, and you got a chance to you know convert it, that's what you need to do. And um, you know, that's really the nature of football, and that's the challenge of offensive football, especially is the execution. It's um, you know, it's easier said than done sometimes, and it's. But if you're not doing it in practice and not doing it consistently, then it's hard to think you're going to do it in competition, live competition. So, um, yeah, we're, we're, we've made progress, and I think you know, guys have they've gotten good exposure now. You know, we'll start to, you know, when we get back in August, we'll be a little bit more specific about things, and hopefully our execution will be a little bit better, and it should be. Yeah, Blake, uh, Coach uh, Jay was just talking about how having uh, eight returning starters on defense has helped. Just you know, less questions get to the coaching staff, be able to help the younger guys come around. Just what are some of the benefits of having so much talent and experience returning on that side of the ball? Yeah, I, I can't say it 100, percent but I'm guessing it's probably about as experienced as we've been. Um, and then you know, the first thing you start worrying about is you know, guys getting a little complacent and you know, thinking maybe they've got to figure it out and. One thing about sports life, you never have things figured out totally. So, uh, but I'm, I'm not overly worried about that because the guys like you know Jay and Nick in the middle there. You know, you got Quinn and Sebastian in the back end. Guys, great attitudes, and uh, I think our, our veteran group is really good. You know, the guys up front have done a good job. So, you know, it's it's a real contrast on our team right now. We got a new system offensively. We've got a system that's really been pretty pretty similar for 25 years, and. Um, more veteran players on the defensive side, so we'll count on that to be a strength. They still got to go out and do it. We haven't, you know, stopped anybody from making a first down. We haven't made one, so that's still where we're at here in, in April. And um, but I, but I overall, I like our team. I, I like the attitude and the work ethic they've demonstrated thus far. And I, you know, can't imagine there's any reason why they'd you know, start to, to relax a little bit here. We'll finish up with Tom, Chad, Scott. Um, Kirk, do you anticipate? adding in the portal? Do you anticipate being active in terms of additions to your roster? Yeah, I mean, we'll, we'll do anything we can to help our team, you know, so we'll, we'll be looking at that and just studying it, and if there's an opportunity that presents itself that makes sense, you know, we'll consider just like, you know, we plan to do that every year. You know, we did it last year and had more openings last year, so we had more, you know, more need to be involved. Um, it's not quite the same this year, but we'll still if there's something that can make us a better football team, you know, it's that's what we're all, you know, all trying to do. So we'll definitely keep an open mind. Um, one guy you do have to replace on defense is Cooper DeGene. Um, how did you come out of spring evaluating those three guys? It seems like there's three guys that are kind of competing for that, that one spot. Yeah, the good news is I think all three of those guys made uh, made, made strides. And you know, I think we feel better about all three of them after 15 practices. Yeah, every guy you lose is important, you know, whether it's, you know, Cooper, who's obviously it's going to be, you're not going to replace him. I don't think we're going to be first rounders coming up. And, and not at this point, at least it won't be first rounders next fall. Um, but a guy like Joe Evans, you know, I spoke to an NFL team about him last night. And uh, just, you know, what, you know, I remember when he walked in, I'm thinking, what, what are we going to do with this guy? And then after he got on the field, it's like, I can find something, you know, because he's a football player. and. So, you know, Logan Lee was out there today. Just guys like that are really valuable to every guy that's been out there playing for us. Um, it's a loss. But, yeah, I feel good about the corners right now, especially assuming Jamari's going to be back and uh, should be at his, his best. So I think we've uh, got a solid group there. And um, feel feel that way about most all the younger guys. You know, I think they've improved this spring. But now the question is going to be where can they be when we get going here at the end of August. Uh, I have kind of. That's a part of one short one long. Seth Anderson out for the spring. Is that yep. okay? Yep. Okay. Yep. The, the other one. Should be good in June, too. He's one of those guys with the soft tissue stuff. So should be fine in June. 
uh, the other a one. A little bit. We did see it look good. Okay. But it's like a teaser. You know. <laughs> <laughs> uh, otherwise, uh, attrition kind of takes care of itself in a lot of cases where guys kind of see their place in the world or, or whatever. And I think you guys are right around four over at yeah. this point. What uh, What's kind of the next step? Uh, you meeting with players, I assume, in a couple of days and then yeah. tell them kind of where they fit and then you, know, you expect any kind of natural attrition at this point. Yeah, so I'll, I'll start with that. It, it's uh, it, it's all going to work itself out. But um, to that point, I don't know if it's this way for everybody, but for the last two years, like any any trends or, you know, there were always patterns, like, you know, X amount of guys would leave or some, this and that. Um, it, it's been really, you know, off the charts the last two years. Like, it's hard to predict anything. Um, you know, a couple of years ago, we had a bunch of guys leave in December. And... Um, you know, so you just ne- you just never know. It's it's really because because of the circumstances uh, in college football right now with the the portal and nil and all that stuff and any charts that you might have had for the last twenty years. You know, right now they're not holding true, but we'll we'll figure it out here as we go. And I think it's going to work itself out. So I feel pretty good about that. Okay, thank you, you coach. Sort of yeah. um, I'm sorry. You got the lowest number of the Big Ten by far since last year. I yeah. Mean, you know what does that say? I guess about culture here. Is it? Yeah, I think, you know, and we were surprised to have somebody, uh, well, two guys have left this year. Uh, yeah. They've chosen to leave. And, but, again, that's uh, that Mike Tom on the line about no hostages in the building. You just don't want guys on the team that aren't, aren't fully in, in invested and feeling good about things. Um, but, yeah, that, I think that's when all those guys chose to come back, I think that's what volumes about. You know, we're doing some things right here, and the guys, most most importantly, the guys care about each other. And I think, um, you know, I think they, they – you know, they pull for each other. They want to be together and uh, realize that and I talk to our guys about this all the time. Right? It's such a short window to play college football or high school football. It's a short window and uh, we all get tied, you know, our minds on what's down the road a little bit and we're in a hurry to get there sometimes. But um, it's just good to see guys figure out that it's pretty good to be part of the college football deal and, you know, be with a bunch of good teammates and have fun playing together. So hopefully that's the majority of guys thinking that way and not, you know, not the other way, so it's all good. But yeah, I like our team that way, and I like the way they're working. And we'll see what the next couple of weeks have to bring. Yeah, thank you. Thank you.